I, I just got word we might get Sheriff uh, Chad Cronister calling right now. Hang right. on a minute. They just texted me. Good now. Did you hear about the prostitution bus that they announced yesterday? No. Yeah. Hey, Andrew, watch the hotline. Yeah, let me see. now is good. Uh, I just got word that the sheriff has a very busy morning, and he can call us uh, right now. All right, uh, we are live and waiting. All right. Oh, oh look at that. I, I guess, I guess uh, Andrew, see if that's the sheriff uh, on the line. Uh, do you see one of the details? Now, we, we don't do a lot of prostitution bus stories on the show, but one of the elements here is this Sheriff Chronister. All right, folks, uh, let's welcome back to the MJ Morning Show, Sheriff Chad Chronister, Sheriff Hillsborough County Sheriff's Office. Uh, Sheriff, welcome back to the MJ Morning Show. Always a pleasure. Good morning, everyone. Uh, always great to have you on. So you had the little presser yesterday about this big prostitution bust, 176 people arrested. And this was, what, a months-long operation, but one of the details was a honeymooner, a guy on his honeymoon? Yeah, how do you think that played out? He's on his honeymoon, his new bride falls asleep, and he answers an, an ad for sex from her undercover uh, operative and, and shows up. Oh, oh my <laughs> God. Where, uh, so Sheriff, do you know, where, where were they from? Were they local or were they from out of town honeymooning here? No, great question. They were local. They went and got a hotel that night. Like I said, she falls asleep, and he decides, "Hey, I'm I, I want I'm going to go pay for sex. Let me answer an ad." And shows up to our, our undercover detective and tells her uh, what sa sex acts that he wants. And I was making light of it yesterday. You know, I, I don't know if the marriage was able to to sustain something like this, but I wonder if it was too late for the wedding guests to get their gifts back. <laughs> oh, yeah, Jeez. for real. All right, so. You had a months long investigation and 176 people. Can you give us details? And I guess you were also able to uh, rescue some uh, individuals that were humanly trafficked, correct? Yeah, this was a four month operation. I, I wanted to start it before school let out. And what I wanted to focus on at the beginning was the predators who were preying on our children. So we started that operation online scouring the web even the dark web and we had our undercover posing as a father trafficking his 12 year old daughter oh my and, god and and we rented a trailer and had these individuals showing up at the trailer uh paying our undercover to go inside and have sex with uh with his daughter so, so these are men showing up thinking that they're going to have uh, relations with a 12 year old girl it, it is, and I tell you what, I think the, the the more disturbing one was the gentleman who was communicating back and said, listen again, how how old was your daughter? And they gave the age again and said, yeah, too old for me. Oh, that is unbelievable. Folks, these operations get these uh, sicko creeps off the street. Sheriff, what happens to these victims? The, well, the, the victims are our under, under undercovers. So oh, the victims are undercovers. The, okay. No, but the, in general, general but, though. Yeah, but the, the victims, we work with Sale of Freedom. We have a great agency that we work with, a non-government organization that provides services, helps us do the interview. Some of these are recovering uh, victims of human trafficking themselves. Uh, great question. And, and they'll take the time. They'll... A lot of them are suffering from addiction. That's how that's how these traffickers work. They'll take these young, impressionable women, and they'll get them dope sick. And what dope sick is is they get them so addicted to drugs yep. that the minute they start to become sober, they get so physically ill. And hey, you want to you want you want your fix? You get back out there and and, and and keep performing these sex acts. So these uh, like Sailor Freedom will get them addiction treatment. Uh, obviously, that intense mental health therapy and counseling that they need housing, gainful employment. They really help them out, and, and they've, been, they've been the organization that, that has helped us rescue these victims. Now, when you talk about what happens to the victims, that's part of it. The two victims that we rescued, the 16- and 17-year-olds, yeah. that, that their family were just uh, worried about, just worried sick, and reported them missing and endangered. These two men trafficked these two kids down here to Tampa, when we caught them, they were already with another individual, and uh, we arrested all three. And Yeah, because uh, you had two teenagers. You had the, I think what Roxanne was talking about, you had the 16- and 17-year-old girls from Massachusetts that came down to Tampa, and your detectives found them in the process of this investigation, right? 
they did, and they were return them back home with their parents. And I, and I could only hope that they're getting the therapy and counseling that they need up there. So hopefully they won't they won't allow anyone to make them a victim ever again. And and these other two individuals were teamed up with Homeland Security. We're, we believe firmly believe that they're trafficking more of these young girls, and uh, hopefully there'll be more to come for that. All right, Sheriff. Thanks for coming on. But again, a guy on his honeymoon. His new bride falls asleep in the hotel room, and he goes online and finds a prostitute? Yeah, this is what not to do when you get married. And of course, the out there, this is what not to do. And of course, the prostitute was not a real prostitute. It was an undercover sting operation. Uh, Sheriff uh, Chad Cronister, thanks for coming <laughs> on again. I know you have a busy morning. Thanks for finding time to come on. Have a great day and a safe weekend, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Thank Sheriff. You. Oh, while they're doing his perp walk, the Sheriff should have thrown rice at him. You know what? <laughs> I, <laughs> I I would, or if it happened in Pinellas County years ago, it could have been Sheriff Rice throwing rice. <laughs> Re- remember remember yeah, Sheriff, Sheriff rice, rice in, in Pinellas That's County the, years ago? Remember, Can you imagine? You're on your honeymoon. You're in the hotel. Your bride falls asleep, and you're trying to pick up a hooker online, oh. and then you leave. You leave the hotel room while your wife is sleeping. And the it, wife is, I mean, maybe the wife is okay with it. Maybe they're in some freaky couple. I, no, I don't think the wife was okay with it. Honey, thanks for marrying me. I'm going to sleep. Go get yourself a hooker. All right, that's unbelievable. 